Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll. Tonight I've come to you with a bag opening, I'm going to call it. And what it is, is that someone gave me a bunch of clothes and a, a bag of clothes for, like, this lady collects teddy bears. Her name is Liz. So Liz, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Every time she brings me something, I am out the door. I'm gone somewhere. I was out uh, grocery shopping today. But anyways, this bag showed up. My daughter was gardening and she says, oh, my mom's gone. So she left it on the stairs and I came home to this wonderful surprise. Now she's a teddy bear collector. She collects a lot of the Mary Thought, I think they're called teddy bears, and others as well. But she went through her stuff and this is what she gave me. Um, a bunch of her little little um, clothes that she had collected. But oh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's just, there's just gorgeous stuff. Just a lot of nice little dresses, um, some pant panties, and a sweater, and a purse. And this is a whole set with the, you got the jacket, the purse, and the hat. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can find a doll that can even wear that and it'll look just beautiful on them. Um, this little cotton dress. This dress here I just love. I want to get this ironed out. I have a doll that can wear this. Oh my goodness. And it's older. This is not a newer one. This is an older one. And it has the buttons going down. Oh, I, I, just, I just love it. I, I've got a doll for this. I know I, who can wear this. Anyways, another little dress. And another one that just needs the sleeves uh, fixed. A little faded, but hey, I don't care. I can use it, you know. And another little uh, dress. This one, I just, I love to. Oh, I love this dress. Love, love it. Very teenager-y type fashion doll. This is a pinafore. Or apron, you can call it. Whatever way you want to. You put it, or some call it a smock as well. Um, another, this is by Gun. This is a little bear dress, but hey, a doll can wear that just as well. There's this little dress here. little nylon. I have this sweater. I'm going to move some of this over. Let me move some over. I'll start another pile. And there's this little silky dress. And there's this Oh, I love this one. All it needs is just some elastic in the sleeves, which I can do. Not a problem. And that, that dress is going to be on somebody. And what else, is, do I what else do I have in here? I have this little dress with the little pinafore on it. And I have another little apron. I love this dress too. This one right here. I just think it's beautiful. Oh, I love this one. I love this knit one. Oh, that someone was really into the handiwork. It's just beautiful. Oh my word. Here's another little dress with the bow on the back. It reminds me a little bit, if this was in the blue gingham, this would remind me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, Dorothy on the Wizard of Oz a bit. I don't know, it just did. That's my, where my head went. But another little bear sweater. Another little bear, uh, well, it's, it's a shirt that maybe a bear could wear or any other doll could wear. Um, this here is a baby's dress. This is an old-fashioned baby dress. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now, I learned something off of Rachel Hoffman's doll site. No, it wasn't off of there. It was on another one I was watching. I watch a lot, and I get them all mixed up and mushed together. But anyways, I was watching this doll site where they were talking about the doll's undergarments and what they were called and everything. Male's underwear back in the olden days was called pantaloons, but a woman's underwear underneath were called pantalette. So this is a lady's pantalette. I did not know that. I just called them pantaloons because that's what I was taught. But apparently there was the proper name is pantalette and for female and pantaloon for male. There you go. We all learned something today. Now the day's over. <laughs> it's done. We did it. <laughs> we learned something. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, this is another gorgeous dress right there. Uh, these are some little underwear for bears because it's got the little tail. But you could still wear that on a doll if you wanted to. Just put some elastic in there and you're, you know, you could sew that up if you wanted to. And away you go. You know, the little behind up. And um, you're, you're, you're rocking that outfit, <laughs> you know. But anyhow. Yeah, and, or you can just put it right on your bear. I love this hair. Oh, Liz. 
thank you, thank you. This is beautiful. This is a crochet baby bonnet. I just love it. Great for like spring, summer. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And here's a little shirt, um, a slip, and a skirt. What else is there? Now this is a little knit, oh, pair of undies. I think that's a pair of undies. And I've got these little pair of white shoes that she put in there. Baby shoes. Look at that. Oh, aren't those gorgeous? And where's that little pair of underwear? I wonder if that all goes together like that. I'm not sure. Oh, there's my phone. I brought that with me. And a pair of slippers. Or, no, sandals. There you go. Well, isn't that wonderful? Liz, again, thank you very much for thinking of me. This is a wonderful pile of uh, doll clothes that I will use. I'm always looking for doll clothes, always looking. I, I pick up stuff here and there, not all the time, but once in a while, things will come my way. But boy, when they come like this, this is wonderful. I am thrilled to, to, to have it in back. <laughs> Because this is stuff that you can't you can't find all this anymore. It's getting harder and harder. And um, with the doll world opening up more and more, you can see that you know people are getting into dolls more and more. Um, stuff like this gets picked up and it's going. So um, I appreciate any little tidbits that I get. You know. Now the next thing I want to do here is show what um, Joan Wrecker. I want to say your name right. Yeah, Wrecker. She mailed me an envelope. So I want to show what she sent to me. She sent it yesterday. I thanked her for it. And again, I thank you too for it. This is wonderful. She sent me two patterns. I, I Oh my goodness, they're wonderful. I don't have a whole lot of doll patterns. I do have some. You know, I and I bought some along the way too. You know, off of eBay at a really good price and whatnot. I've had to download some and I've got those as well. But it's starting to become quite the collection. But it's still on the low end. i got to start. This is what this winter is going to be about. I'm packing up my dolls. And I'm just going to do sewing. I want to make it what I call this a sewing winter. Where I learn how to sew better. <laughs> a lot better. But I want to make shoes. I want to just ex explore the world of shoes. And my and, and just sewing. And um, just sit down. And, and just learn. Teach myself more and more about sewing. And making a lot of my own things too. She sent me this baby doll pattern here. And then she sent me some shoe what to make shoes out of as well. I've got a bunch of material, but this is wonderful material. I love it. Beautiful. And she, she sent me like a, uh, a piece of it. You know, you can take this with you and say, hey, I'm looking for this. This is what I want, you know. Then she sent me some other patterns as well. That wasn't the end of it. This lady sent me a whole bunch of patterns here. She went to town here in this little envelope. And I got all kinds of, like, I, want, I always want to call them recipes. I've got patterns here. Oh, I don't... Let me put this off to the side, just like that for right now. But she sent me shoe patterns and buckles. And she just sent me, like, all kinds of stuff in here. I've been going through it, reading it. Look, look at that. All the shoe, everything about shoes. Oh, my goodness. I am thrilled. Like, this stuff helps me out. Like, and I sit and I study it. Studying is one thing. Doing it is another. <laughs> That's what I found out. But you know what? I want to try this. These are booties for a 15-inch doll. And then you just expand the pattern. Um, this is booties for a 20-inch doll. Oh, can't wait to get started, Joan. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, there we go. What a wonderful little envelope you sent me, Joan. I love it. Woo! I'm going to have some fun with this. Thank you again. Thank you, Liz. And thank you, Joan. Let winter begin. No, and I don't want it yet. Um, our August, the last couple days here have been nice on the cool side. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Windows are open, fans are in the window, no air on. Oh, I love, love it. Just air the house out. Nice, cool air. Um, we had a big rainstorm, um, I, I think it was yesterday. Just blew in the rain and um, the slugs came out. <laughs> I was picking up slugs and put them in a jar. I think I got like eight, 18 or 19 of them. Threw them in a jar, in the garbage they went. <laughs> Hate those things. They try to get into the cat boots. I put copper all around her, around the cat boots, so we'll see how well that works. I hear copper, they don't like to go across copper. Poor pork, 
had visitors in his food and I don't like that for him. So um, we got some copper out and we put some copper down. So anyhow, is that maybe, and there's no slugs today, but then it is colder. So that be, could be keeping them in the ground. So where the ground is warm. So that being said, we will not judge it yet how the copper's working. If not, there are other things I can do like salt, diatomaceous earth, which I'm not saying properly, but you get what I'm saying. So anyways, there we go. I'm going where I don't want to go anyways. I'm getting into other things. But anyhow, there we are. There's our chat for the day. I'm going to get working back on those little babies over here. Stay tuned. There's more to come on them. So thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.